We're here in Headland at the Wiregrass Field Crops Tour. Uh, this is what we have annually around in uh, uh, late August, uh, just before the guys get real busy harvesting. That way the crops are closer to maturity. They can see some of the differences between the treatments that we've done. Gives them a chance to see their checkoff dollars at work on what they've done for uh, research. What, what, and we've uh, been uh, able to, uh, to show them different things that's going on with peanuts, cotton, and um, sesame is a new crop that's becoming more and more known there in Alabama. And uh, so we've got some research on it, seeding rate wise and varieties. Here in 2014, we, um, the, the crop as a whole, uh, still on the average of um, a decent crop, but we're not gonna see the uh, top yields that we did in 12 and 13, where we had some record setting yields uh, on, on different farms as well as a state as a whole we, we set the uh, yield record at 4,000 pounds for Alabama in 2012 which was um, outstanding and we had never done that before in Alabama. Uh, 13 we had a lot of good rain all the way through the year just a little bit too much in spots. This year has been a little bit different. Uh, two three weeks ago I would have told you that the crop looked really well. We were on the way for another good crop. Um, these high temperatures that we've been enduring lately isolated spotted showers is not our recipe for perfect in August and September. We, we've, we've got to continue to get some rain. Um, we've got some pot, some dry pockets across the state and uh, when we get these 100 degree temperatures that moisture goes away in a hurry. It's harder for these blooms to turn and make pigs that, that didn't go on down to form these pods when you get these extreme temperatures. You can't convert those flowers to pegs in real extreme high heat conditions. And uh, that's, got, that's, that's one thing that we're up against. Uh, the peanuts are also wilted when you get some of these teeter-totting around between a good full-size pod and, um, and, and those that are forming, getting a little size to them. They're going, that peanut plant can only support what it can, what it thinks it can with the moisture feeding these vines. And it's gonna cause it to abort out some of those nuts because it can't physically hold them. And uh, that's the challenge that we've got when we hit these higher temperatures, it's harder for that plant to maintain and hold that water in and feed the, the water and nutrients to these pods that it needs to for us to see the kind of yields that we wanna see in Alabama. Peanuts are a resilient crop, they can respond fast. So if we could continue to get an inch to two inches a week here for another month, it would really change this crop. Um, we're a good month away from harvesting some of the earliest peanuts. So if we needed to wait and hold them in the ground a little longer, with peanuts being an indeterminate, we can do that. We can lose if we have just a small pod set on some of those isolated places. We could let those nuts fall off and go with our main crop set. And uh, because th these little small half inch rains, six tenths, won't last very long in these conditions when the crop's taking a, the water demand that it's taking and we've got the temperatures that we're enduring. So we need some bigger, heavier rains to set more pods and uh, continue to fill them out.